Hey everybody, Logan here, and this is a little interesting bit of news. Sorry, it's not the original video I had planned for today, but I had all kinds of computer issues. Finally got it taken care of. I'm sure you can hear it, hear the difference. So with that being out of the way, let's talk about this. I thought this was a little interesting. This comes from Time Extension. Apparently it's a sister website to, I guess it would be, um, Nintendo Life and Push Square and Pure Xbox. Uh, I think it's one that's a, a new one of theirs that they're pushing within their uh, sister sites. And they plug in these articles and stuff. So I saw this when I was browsing the news today and I thought this was kind of funny. So I, I think what this is, is a uh, retro uh, focused uh, site. Well, it would make sense. So this is kind of cool that they have this. Maybe we'll look into this another day. Uh, but I think I'm just going to start with the headline. Rockstar turned down the chance to make a GTA movie starring Eminem. The news comes from game industry vet Kirk Ewing. Okay, that would have been funny when uh, Eminem was relevant, but we all know Eminem is definitely not relevant anymore. He tries to be, but he's not. I think this is funny because it's uh, Max Headroom, it's supposed to be Eminem is Max Headroom. That's that's a funny image. Uh, that was from one of it. I think that was from one of his music videos. I can't remember, but it kind of makes sense with the GTA uh, Vice City kind of thing. So that's kind of funny, but I really don't think I mean, I don't know how he would be able to fit in the movie. And would he be the protagonist? I don't know. Again, maybe if it was in the late 90s, early 2000s when he was blown up. But to be honest, I can't tell you the last time I even heard an Eminem song. I, I didn't even know he was still around. <laughs> Is he still around? He is, right? I think so. Game industry veteran Kirk Ewing recently revealed that Rockstar Games co-founder Sam Hauser once turned down an opportunity to make a Grand Theft Auto movie starring Eminem, as reported by the BBC and VGC. Ewing, whose video game State of Emergency, oof, I remember that one, was published by Rockstar in 2002, told BBC's Bugsy Malone's grandest game podcast that a Hollywood agent once approached him with a deal back when Grand Theft Auto 3 was starting to take the world by storm. Okay, now that makes sense. The fact that it was GTA 3, much, yeah, much more relevant. He was super relevant then. However, Hauser ultimately said he was not interested and turned down the $5 million offer or the film rights. Yeah, I, I could see that was smart. Just $5 million, as big as GTA is now? <sighs> no. As he recalls, the deal would have seen the rapper turned actor attached, as well as the Top Gun director Tony Scott. This would have been around the time that Eminem had just released 8 Mile, makes sense, 2002, for which he had received praise and a year after Scott had completed Spy Game 2001 featuring Robert Redford and Brad Pitt. Oh, I remember that one. Uh, over the years, there has been a lot of speculation about Grand Theft Auto series making the jump from video game console to cinema screens, but this is perhaps the most definitive account of just how close it came to being a reality. Uh, again, this, this part uh, is time extensions not not me saying this we did however hear this small tidbit from the former rockstar north employee ob ob vermage uh, vermage i'm sorry if i butchered that name earlier this year who informed us of another attempt following a chat about uh video game adaptations the housers often talk uh, sorry let's go back quote the Housers often talked about doing a Grand Theft Auto movie, but they were reluctant to give away control. I think they spoke with a few studios at the time. New Line? Question mark. Uh, maybe around 2006. They considered writing their own script, but none of it got very far. End quote. I guess for now, we'll just have to stick with the promotional film 
that the company ended up producing for Grand Theft Auto 2. Ah, I remember that. Alrighty. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> That's funny. Don't know how Eminem would be attached to it, but now, now it makes sense. Like, I had originally glanced at the article. I was like, all right, this is going to be fun. Let me react to it because I decided to do more of reacting than reading it and seeing how it goes. Well, that makes more sense. Uh, back then, especially these days, not so much. Who would you cast in a Grand Theft Auto movie? Hmm. Everybody's going to say Vin Diesel because no, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't really do the the cops and robbers, the crime drama movies, and I know Grand Theft Auto would fit in that genre of movie, even though I'm a massive Grand Theft Auto fan. I play GTA Online. You guys have seen a ton. I've done a number of videos, and I've done a ton, a ton of shorts of uh, GTA gameplay. So tell me what you guys think about this. Is this funny to you? Back then, it would be totally relevant. And what music video did this come from? Let me know, because I saw the Max Headroom thing, and I thought that was funny. But uh, I've never really been big into music videos. But tell me uh, what video this is from. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Uh, make sure you follow us on our socials at Red Bandana Gaming on Facebook and Instagram and at RBG underscore retro on Twitter. Again, hit that subscribe button. Hey, while you're down there, why don't you purchase a shirt or something? That would really help. Or if you, if you just feel like just giving a tip, hit the super thanks. That helps too. Thank you guys so much. Like we always say. Be legendary. <laughs> thanks again.